Okay, so this video is a behind the scenes look at all these sets. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so this is the real, this is the first set we really used for the shots. So obviously this is the door. It's pretty simple. It's just a big plate with tiles on it. Nothing too interesting. The hallway, you have these lines. Now, this is a snot technique. So basically, we made these little panels, and you can just prop it up right there, and it looks perfectly fine. Gave it a black border. There's not a lot to this set, but it was definitely necessary, as most shots were shot in this set. And it took us a few minutes to just put this together, so it's not like it's amazing or anything, but it, it works, it works. So let's go on to the next set that was featured. Okay, so technically if we're going by story, this would be the next set that is featured. Now, it doesn't look like this exactly in the stop motion, mostly because of the fact that this is a Bacta tank and not the Vader transformation. But, nonetheless, it still looks good. I like the black and the white, especially the white border. Uh, these are actually minifigure stands, believe it or not. And for when we were filming, we, we, uh, we put a green screen around this. Because we wanted to give off a shadowy sort of feeling. So, it's really just the set put into a background. That's, that's pretty much it. But it really suits it. And I think I might actually keep it on this base plate. It looks very, very, very nice over here. Might put up a black border or something. So now let's go on to the final Death Star set, and then we will go on to the Big Boy set. Let's All right, on. so this is actually the first set that I built. I built this in my spare time. This is uh, the Obi-Wan Death Star Cannon. I decided to take this and make it into and make it a movie set. So that's still the opening. I made it more Death Star E, I guess you can say. We got the lines. It's the same exact technique as before. I'm not gonna take it out because it's thoroughly attached in there. I don't want to ruin it. And then it's the same thing with this one. And this is attached to the side. This is some greebling. It took a decent amount of time to build this just because of the size. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not that difficult to build. But the next one, the next one took us hours. And this was two or three people. And it took us hours to make this. I can't wait for you guys to see it. So let's go on to that one. Here it is, the mock highlight of all of these, Mustafar. As you can see, we definitely pulled off the color scheme. We got the grays, the browns, the dark tan, the black, and it really just comes together to form a very nice rock, rocky structure. And if you pay close attention, we have lava. Now this lava is made up of some red parts, some yellow parts, and some orange parts. All are translucent. So red stud, yellow stud, got an orange stud. There's a lot of fire in here. A lot of this fire. And then I never actually thought I'd use this in a mock like this but this is a bunch of the red crystal pieces i have a ton of them i went to the lego store and i got a ton of them because i was like hey this is cool and we didn't just throw all of this onto a base plate so if i uncover a bit of this you can see we actually have a pattern underneath here so that the translucent will 
bleed through and you will see that. So we have yellows, we have oranges, we have reds, all sorts of stuff beneath the lava, or at least the fiery portion of the lava. Now I did take one of the Mustafar sets, which will, which will be reviewed soon, and well, you, you'd probably recognize this little droid. I adapted him into the thing, and then I'm, I uh, made the platform bigger because a 4x4 four four plate is not big enough for two people to be fighting on. Besides, th that just looks so much better. Now, on to my, one, of, one of my favorite parts that I did, and that is the burning Anakin. Now, something that has always bothered me whenever I see an Obi-Wan versus Anakin stop motion, is that they never truly accomplish the burning process correctly. They usually just do this and just put it all around him, maybe throw a flame piece on top of him. It, it just, it isn't really all that thought out. So, if we remove this, you can see I have some fire around him that he's laying on, pretty much. And then I have this little contraption here. So essentially what this is, is to show him being burned. And so you can see we have the one by two with teeth on one end, then the two by two round with holes in it, and then the one by one with tooth on the end. And then I just attached fire to all that, and it looks really good, especially when I... It takes a bit to get him into the right position for him to look perfect. But it looks perfect. It really does. And this model took a long time, but one thing that I am so happy that I had access to was if I turn this around... There's Duplo. Now, if you guys didn't know this, you can actually take a Duplo brick and put a 2x2 two two on top of it. And you can put, basically, the one Duplo stud can fit around this little hole. So, yeah, it essentially, it fits properly just into the Duplo stud. Basically that wraps around there. So it's a bit of a demonstration. If I, if you guys look over here, it fits perfectly. Because this little opening gap is that little opening gap. So it fits perfectly right into there. And that really helped establish the rock work. I would recommend that to anybody who's building a mountain or anything like this. Because it comes in handy a lot. It really does. But that's really all of the sets that we built. Now we did use a few other things like the Death Star set. Um... We used parts of the hangar in there, we used the conference room, and we used the prison cells in the Death Star, but technically we didn't build that ourselves, so it's not going to be in this video. But if you guys want me to show off how we did it, then leave a comment down below saying so. But for right now... That would be, this would be the end of the video. So if you guys have enjoyed, please like, comment down below which, which mock is your favorite, and subscribe to the channel for, daily, for, more upload, for more daily uploads, and I'll see you next time. Bye.